Oh, you're not helping, are you? Good morning. Always nice to wake up uh, with someone knocking on your door with new stuff. Very excited about this. This morning I'm going to uh, do an unboxing and review or initial impressions of my new ULA Catalyst backpack. Uh, I decided to go with ULA because my original large volume backpack, this guy here, this is the REI Trail 70. It's a great pack. It's, you know, tons, crazy amounts of padding, molded hip belt. You can move the shoulder straps up and down. You can move the lumbar, change the lumbar support, move the hip belt up and down. It's got tons of straps and bells and whistles. And I think this is actually a whistle. Um, and it's great, but um, it weighs like five and a half pounds, empty. It's, it's a great pack. If you need a weekender that you can jam full of everything you need and probably a little more and just beat the heck out of it, this is a great pack, but heavy. So uh, in planning some longer distance hikes in my future, uh, hikes that will involve things like bear canisters, uh, you know, extended you know, week or more worth of food, um, possibly, you know, cold weather gear. Uh, I decided to go with a lighter pack and that's where this box comes in. Um, everybody knows ULA. They're, they're a well-respected company. They make really good stuff. Their customer service is fantastic. I ordered this on Sunday morning uh, and I don't expect anybody to transact business on a weekend. So I ordered this online and it's now Wednesday. It got here about two-ish. So, no sharp objects. Next best thing is car keys. Because really, you don't want to cut your new pack on your first day. Save that for when you're in the field. Well, they use some really good tape, let me tell you that. Hang on. Gonna have to get creative. There we go. There's extra goodies. ULA is having a deal this month. Uh, order a backpack with a rain cover, get a free hat, and you get to pick all the colors. I don't know what I was thinking, but look, it's a hat. Cool. <laughs> Might need to size that. Um, yeah, it's cool. You just choose all the embroidery. So ULA does do obviously custom embroidery because again, you get to pick color, color, color. I don't remember, lots of colors. I like it. Always need a good trucker hat. Okay, so this is the Catalyst, which is the big one that they make. Um, it's 70 liters, 75, 75 liters all together, which is a large pack. Um, Paperwork. Also, just because I wanted to, I did order the pack cover for it. I uh, just because. All right, let's get this out of here. The top. Wow. Yay! Sticker. Okay. There she be. Man. That is a good looking pack. All right. Run over some specs with you real quick. Oh yeah, I also ordered this. I totally forgot I ordered that. I got all kinds of great stuff. Oh, that's gonna be, okay, cool. The Catalyst is a 75 liter pack. The main body is 46-ish, I'm sorry, 42.6 liters. The extendable collar which is this portion above the frame sheet is another 9.8. You got your big old side mesh pockets. Wow, those are enormous. Uh, you can get two one liter, like a smart water bottle in here. You can probably, I think I can get a couple of Nalgene's in there. Your front mesh pocket, which is this guy here, is another 9.8. Um, side pockets, 5.7. Hip pockets are, Point eight. So you get a total of 
got a lot of load lifters. It's got all kinds of, oh, it has these groovy things. So those are the ones you can hold them. They come off the shoulder and you can kind of hold them and walk like this. I'm a trekking pole guy, but I still might use those. Pack itself weighs three pounds. Rain cover weighs three ounces. Uh, I went with purple and green because why wouldn't you? You can get custom embroidery on here. If you want to put your trail name on here or something, they'll do that as well. Uh, pretty, pretty inexpensive. Um, this pocket is huge. So this is their robotic fabric, which is this uh, sort of square mesh. Uh, I love that they made these clips bright yellow so I can find them. They need all kinds of stuff bright yellow. These are uh, kind of like a water bottle retainer type of thing. Man. All right. Well, this collar just keeps going. Wow. All right. It has inside here, you've got this removable mesh pouch. You put your, you know, your wallet, passport, keys, all that kind of stuff. Um, it does have a water bottle pocket in here, this massive thing. I don't use uh, water bottle, no. Hydration bladder. I don't use those, I just don't trust them. And I think they're ridiculously heavy. And it's, anyway, my personal opinion. This has um, a frame sheet with two aluminum stays. Right, yep, there's one, there's one. Those both come out through here and you can obviously bend them and mold them to the shape of your back so that your back doesn't have to do the work of you know, molding your pack to fit it. You can adjust these stays so that they match the natural curvature of your back and they will work the pack into shape. Oh, this pack is light, even with all this extra junk I got hanging off of it. So it's gonna take us a while to figure out these straps. They do have some good YouTube videos on fitting your pack. That is a lot of backpack. I got the larger pack um, just because you wanna have a ton of space. And I guess if you you have a load, just say, and it's, it's so big and it weighs X amount, you can spread that same weight out into a less dense pack and distribute the weight more evenly around your back and your shoulders and your hips. And I find that to be more comfortable. Um, you have, uh, everybody's you know, using like down quilts now or down sleeping bags. And just because you can compress it down, stick it in your hip pocket every day, doesn't necessarily mean that you should, I feel. So if you leave that lofted up, I think less wear and tear on the product, right? So that's just kind of my thought of it. Um, I, I know that, you know, small loads held tight against your back are the best. Uh, I know that I'm gonna overpack, but I'm also gonna be taking a really long trip. And I just wanna make sure that I've got <laughs> way more than enough room. Uh, that's, that's my comfort zone, is having just a little more than I need. Um, so with this three pounds plus three ounces plus my shelter plus my sleep system my big three right there should come in at seven pounds five ounces if I removed the pack cover and I removed the uh, two optional poles that I got rather than using my trekking poles for my tent I got the optional poles and they weighed six ounces total so I could get it down to six pounds, 12 ounces, which might be a thing. Uh, I like dual purpose items like trekking poles for tents, but not my trekking poles. I'm sure it works great for other people. So I'm gonna stuff this full of uh, the biggest thing I can find, which is my massive four degree down um, sleeping bag. And we'll see what it looks like when it's got a load on it. You know you love mountain hardware. 
massive logo. I always feel like I want to review one thing and then I wind up talking about other stuff. Four degree down, weighs bleh, more than my backpack, weighs four and a half pounds. Fantastic. So warm. <laughs> I still have room. Okay, there we go. Obviously there's some learning curve on the straps. It'll be fine. Um, boy, that, that's a good sized pouch. What have I done? Oh, I forgot about this one. More straps. You can put a sleeping pad on top of here. I know a lot of people do that. Obviously I could have gotten the smaller pack and put them up there, can up here. Not about that. I like stuff inside my pack. I need to get over that though because I know that I'm going to have wet things that are going to need to go out there. I'm going to get this figured out eventually. One other feature about this pack that I neglected to mention is that these buckles here, you can roll the top down like this and use this top strap to put stuff under and you can clip them on the sides here. Or you can use it in this configuration. This is rolled, now this is rolled like a dry sack. And these buckles, because there's a male and a female part here and here, you simply unhook this buckle from here, right? It was clipped like that. Now you clip these up here and then this becomes an additional compression strap for the bag. Pretty cool. Okay, so, oh, it's even comfortable to sit down in. I um, think I've got it about right. You know, you want your, your load lifters to be at about a 45 degree angle here. Um, I like that the hip pockets are back here instead of up here. Um, oh look, I can reach the side pockets. That's different. Uh, boy, it's, it's comfy. I like it. So initial impressions. The ULA Catalyst, again, it's so comfortable. Uh, it's lightweight. It's really, in terms of ultralight packs, this is pretty affordable. I'm, uh, I'm excited to get it out and, uh, and put it through its paces. I'm also really weirdly excited about this. This is where I want to keep my phone. Um, maybe, I don't know about the battery pack, but at least my phone and maybe an extra snack. You've got water bottle retention devices, these yellow things that I can't get a hold of. This guy here. Um, so you can hook it here and here. Um, it's a great pack. So there we go. Great pack. Good company. Um, it's, I'm just going to discover more and more stuff about it. I know that the hip belt is adjustable. There's some Velcro in there. You can, you can slide it up and down a little bit. Um, once I get the stays adjusted a little bit so it molds more to my back, uh, I, just, I, I have no doubt this pack is going to last me for a really long time. I'm, I'm totally happy. So once I get it out and put some miles on it, we'll do kind of a follow-up review and, uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Any questions or comments, let me know. Um, I think the audio is better on this video. Hopefully the production quality gets a little better. I don't think it's ever gonna be amazing. Uh, that's just not one of my skill sets, but there you go, ULA Catalyst. Come on, man, free hat.
right? It's good. See you next time. Hey, quick update. So I checked the mail just now and guess what showed up? So this will be the next thing I'll be reviewing. Probably take me a couple of weeks to get my act together and get outside. Plus, I don't think the weather is going to cooperate this week. But this is the second to last piece of my big three. Really excited about this. And something that I will give you. Spoiler alert. This. Two pounds. Stick around. It's going to be good.